students having watched the previous video that was on the TBS and soil erosion and the methods now we move on to some more ways which are the causes for this soil erosion and soil pollution contamination okay and what do we how do we define waste it's something that is rejected useless all this is waste but there are different types of waste okay one is solid waste some are liquid waste and some are gaseous waste okay that is depending on the state of matter then we also classify them as biodegradable and non biodegradable so what you will have is you will have a set of uh, uh, two or three choices where you will be asked to pick up something that is biodegradable pick up something that is non biodegradable and we know plastic thermocol plastic still goes into microplastic and it is still found in the floor of the ocean so it is non biodegradable then you have based on uh, the origin okay now you have domestic you have industrial waste then you have agriculture waste agriculture waste again is divided into biodegradable and non biodegradable how because see the husk and the normal organic waste the dead plants and all those things will form biomenia that is biodegradable it degrades breaks down and then forms biomenia but there are non biodegradable waste like the chemical fertilizers and pesticides okay then coming to the toxic side what do you mean by toxic poisonous okay they are poisonous how do we say that biomedical waste are poisonous see biomedical waste can be starting from injection and syringes you can have samples of tissues like blood and urine and so many things and most when how do we why do we go to the hospital only because we are sick isn't it so all these disease causing germs are still present so that means they are poisonous they are toxic and radioactive waste why do we call that as hazardous or toxic because they can affect generations okay sometimes it results in mutation it results in cancer for generations to come and the saddest part of this radioactive waste is they take thousands of years they still linger in the environment in the air so the people who breathe in that they are likely to be affected by this radioactive waste and e waste so you just take a small battery that you have and after some time when you have left it unused for some time what happens it starts leaking okay so like that there are many many old computers phones and television sets and so many things that come under e waste and these things actually release some heavy metals like lead mercury and also some so many other chemicals that are being released which are toxic to the environment okay then we come to the treatment having seen all the uh, different things that are caused the caused by waste we need to know how to treat these waste and make it okay now the first one is open dumping what do we do usually if there is an empty plot we tend to put all our uh, garbage into that place right that is open dumping what the government does is it takes a large area of land and there all these are dumped openly but the saddest part is when you do it openly without a cover all it gives place to the breeding it becomes a breeding ground for rodents and insects and so many things and when there is wind it is giving a foul smell and it can be the cause of so many diseases landfills that's a good better than open dumping because every time they fill in the garbage and then there's a layer of soil and then they fill in a garbage i think you if you have watched my video on the caring for soil the lesson you would understand this because there i have shown many pictures regarding this okay then but the the worst part of the landfills is that as it goes on especially during the rainy season or when it is very damp we see that there is a leakage of liquid or fluid water like fluid that comes out and that's called as leakage it's very important and what happens is it just slowly seeps down into the earth and contaminating the earth and when if it is a slope it goes to the water bodies contaminating the water affecting the biodiversity organisms everything so it's a chain reaction that happens because of leakage okay so that's that you should remember 
composting and vermi composting is the best method for all biodegradable waste okay when we take kitchen waste so much of waste is there we can compost them or we can vermi compost this with the help of small worms it is biodegraded microbes and it is broken down and final product is biomania which is the safest and very good for the plants incineration see sometimes we have these non biodegradable ones piling up and piling up what do we do so much of space is it occupies then comes the solution incineration this uses and it brings down the volume of the waste to 25% so the 30 75% is completely broken down so it is burnt but at very high temperature and it's useful for non biodegradable waste okay we should remember the method that is used for non biodegradable waste is what it is incineration okay but everything has some disadvantage also because it is bro breaking down the non biodegradable waste the poisonous gases are also released and a lot of fly ash come out of incinerators that is the disadvantage then we have activated sludge process this is also one of the treatments what do we do in activated sludge we form a sludge it is called as a sludge how do we get a sludge using microbes okay so you take the industrial waste water the sewage that comes everything is treated with microbes so biological treatment happens here and these effluents also they can also be treated in three stages primary treatment secondary treatment tertiary treatment primary what do you do remove all the heavy particles the dust and the dirt okay it just you just allow it to settle down and sieve it or filter it and that's primary secondary we introduce microbes microorganisms that breaks down the waste into something called the sludge okay and the tertiary after all this the water is also treated with disinfectants you must have heard of chlorine yes it is a disinfectant alum it will precipitate all the bigger particles and bring it down activated charcoal it will absorb all the unwanted smell so those things happen in the tertiary phase now let's go to the eop it's not eap it's eop and it's end of pipe treatment what is this end of pipe from the word you can guess something end of the pipe so as these are getting treated the last treatment before it is let into the water bodies we must make sure double sure that the water is safe for the organisms aquatic organisms that is called as end of pipe treatment okay again here they can ask you to expand what if eop they can give you different options you must know that it is end of pipe treatment the last one is basel convention what is this convention about this is about see there are lot of hazardous waste that are produced in different countries and they try to dump those waste into less developed or developing countries okay at a lesser rate so what happens is they are safe and these come and pile up in these less developed countries or poor countries that is trans boundary movement now this basel convention comes with a regulation it starts monitoring the trans boundary movement and says no you try your best to keep it or contain it within your country okay so these are the main points that we need to touch upon for this caring for our soil second part okay now we stay tuned to have some more mcqs based on these important points now we go on to some mcqs based on these waste treatment and waste and how to treat them yeah now see sewage industrial effluents and oil spills which one will they come up to supposing you don't know you don't know about sewage you don't know about industrial effluents you don't you are you are getting confused remember oil remember oil is there at home what is it is it a solid or liquid or a gas it is a liquid so what waste it would be it would be liquid waste finished next waste that can be broken down so what are you doing you are degrading see the other name for breaking down is to degrade degradation so where is it here bio degradable microorganisms means something that is alive 
something with life is bio okay so biodegradable this is the correct option petroleum plastic and thermocol you know we know why do we ban plastic everywhere because plastic can cause so much of havoc it can still break down into microplastics and still be there in the ocean and it seems there are many sharks and uh, other organisms that are right down in the floor of the ocean which are taking in these micro plastics and it is causing a lot of havoc in the health of those animals now are they biodegradable no they are non biodegradable that's why we have to ban plastic organic waste are composted and used as see when we take organic waste means you can take anything like plants or animals anything that is made of any dead uh, li um, living organisms that are dead they form organic waste okay now when they are composted so here in this case it's about the domestic waste that are composted then what happens it gets completely turned into do you get pesticides or fungicides here no they form something called bio manure okay it's very good for the plants radioactive waste what do we learn what did we learn about radioactive waste that they can be staying in the environment for many many years okay so that is one thing do they spread no they don't spread are they infectious again no like from one person to the other it doesn't go but it stays for thousands of years so this the first option is the correct option burning of waste at high temperatures this is one of the waste treatment that we use for non biodegradable waste okay we have three things here cyclone separator is there incinerator is there landfills is there do the landfills have high temperatures no so that is ruled out do the cyclone separator has a high temperature no so the only thing that has high temperature uses high temperature is the incinerator the liquid that solid waste give out in landfills this i said it's very important is it called effluent no is it particulate matter no it is called as leakage remember this word no chemical fertilizers are classified as see chemicals are chemicals anyway again they don't break down when microorganisms come and try to break them down hmm, that's not possible so they are not biodegradable they don't form part of e waste but they are non biodegradable waste so that's the answer for the eighth question the movement of hazardous waste so the trans boundary movement from one country to the other how is this regulated how is this monitored and how is it controlled by which of these things is it euronorms no is it jfm no that is joint forest management so that's also not there so basel convention is the right answer heavy solid suspended matter are removed in which part or stage of the treatment when you take waste water effluent water effluents when you treat them the first thing that will happen is the heavy solids and particles will settle down so that means it is the primary treatment okay a biochemical process what do you mean by that so you are using microbes bio and chemical method to treat sewage and industrial waste water using air and microorganisms what is it called is it activated sludge process is it sedimentation is it precipitation we are using something biological so it is to form a sludge so the answer is activated sludge process pollution control method which treats effluents prior to discharge into the environment so before it is discharged into the water bodies what is the control method that is used so the at to at the end of the treatment what is the control method is it waste water treatment of course it is waste water treatment but what is it happening specifically at the end that's what we have to think of water recycling yes but then end of pipe treatment is the correct specific answer for this so you have to be careful while reading the question and select the correct answer i hope you enjoyed this on this chapter caring for the soil okay now on this basis you try to read the textbook reread it 
and many times and you can frame your own questions of MCQs and there you can crack it very well. Okay, wish you all the best and if you have liked it, don't forget to like, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. More to you from the next unit in the next video. Bye, bye till then.